Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so we're going to talk about two potentially nice coins you might want to get into right now. This is not financial advice, but uh, Coinbase, we're going to find out their Oracle, their chosen Oracle for their base chain. So we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about a coin that's just kind of exploding right now, and it's going against the market, which is pretty cool, I have to say. But it offers a lot, which is pretty good too. And we're going to talk about Robert Kiyosaki. This guy, oh, I like him. He's pretty cool. He's talking about an investment that people aren't paying attention to, that they should be paying attention to. And he's probably right. I, well, I almost said what it was. But anyway, let's get into it. Ethereum altcoin that's exploded 1100% this year ignores Bitcoin and crypto pullback amid mounting hype on AI. What do you guys think it is already? <laughs> An Ethereum-based altcoin that's been trending hard this year is looking past Bitcoin's recent corrective move as the hype surrounding AI intensifies. The blockchain-based marketplace for artificial intelligence services SingularityNet has rallied from $0.04 cents on January 1st to $0.48 cents at the time of writing, representing a meteoric rise 1100% in about two months. That's pretty big. So it has been going against the grain here. It's going up against the market right now, which is pretty cool. And uh, it dipped a little while ago pretty hard, uh, maybe a week ago, and it's come back pretty strong, I have to say. Now, Singularity Net, right? It's a decentralized AI marketplace, right? And they're going to offer staking on their system soon. But I think I have a better way for you to get some more staking rewards. If you want to go to DeFi Llama, it'll give you all the chains, what they're doing, the top taxes, DeFi, all that, right? So DeFi Llama, I'll leave a link in the description. You go to DeFi Llama, you look up DeFi or Chains, and you pick Cardano, and you pick their DEX min swap, right? It should be the number one DEX. I think you just scroll down, and it'll show you all the DEXs and everything like that. So min swap. You come here, you provide liquidity, say to Ajax, right? You get your liquidity, and you can come to the farm page here. Then you can start staking your liquidity and earning these rewards. They change a little bit from day to day, but that's basically where they're at. Now listen. Do your own research, right? Don't just jump in here going, oh my God, look at these rewards. See what they're about. Check everything out right there. See, you're getting three tokens here. Min, ADA, and Ajax, right? 20%, 14%, and 0.8% for ADA. Just look at all the factors, check it all out. And there's their, they have a bigger list than this too. So if you want to get involved in Cardano, here you go. There's a good dex. It's pretty reliable, but always do your own research, right? There you go. So that's Ajax. They're going to be offering staking on their platform soon, but you can come here on Cardano and check out their decks and do it here. Maybe for a little better rewards. Ajax is pretty good. I have to say the guy behind it is a pretty eccentric guy. You should check out some of his videos. I can't I forget his name right now. Gorowitz or something like that. It's hard for me to say, but yeah. All right. So let's get into them uh, rich dad poor dad here rich dad poor dad author says one asset is most undervalued in a generation and it's not bitcoin now i remember this guy talking way back way back years ago not too long ago a few years ago he wasn't into bitcoin journalists and things like that youtubers would ask him when he come out of these like events and they'd be like hey what do you think of bitcoin what do you think of investing in bitcoin and he told them to f off that was jokes but now He's changed his tune because he's a he's a he's gained knowledge now, right? Once you gain the knowledge of what Bitcoin actually is, you kind of look at the regular system and are like, what the hell? What the hell's going on there? <laughs> now, this guy is a big Bitcoin advocate now. He he did his research and now he sees why the dollar system it's he knows that Bitcoin is a hedge against the dollar system, the inflation and the always decreasing value of the dollar, which at one point will go to zero. They all do, right? So best-selling author Robert Kiyosaki says that one asset is trading far below its fair value, and he's not talking about his favorite crypto asset, Bitcoin. The Rich Dad Poor Dad author tells his 2.3 million Twitter followers that investors are not paying enough attention to this precious metal, silver. There you go. I personally don't have any precious metals, I used to on, on the blockchain from a guy called Reggie Militon with his program platform uh, Vadar. 
he has a token called Veritasium, and the SEC came at him, took him out pretty good, but he's still around, he's still promoting, and he actually has a patent on DeFi, apparently, from Japan and America. I don't know, he's in the middle of suing Coinbase right now, I believe, or in talks with them to say, hey, I have the patent on this, and you might be infringing on it. And, he's, and this patent, I think, extends to every crypto exchange, every DeFi platform. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do your research. Reggie Middleton and his patents on DeFi. Wow. Look into that. So Andy Shackman says, Silver is the most undervalued asset of a generation. And Robert Kiyosaki agrees. Now, from my understanding in the future, silver is going to be a big component in the newest technology. I don't know. That could be uh, something to think about, right? But anyway, Robert Kiyosaki did his research, and now he's a huge Bitcoin advocate, right? Because you got to be independent. Now, I'd like to take a quick second here and throw in a little ad. This is an ad I put together, and they are not spot. They do not give me any money. They did not give me any money to do this. This is just out of my own personal time. I did this. This is a referral link. And I only did it because I'm about independency. I'm about decentralization and being independent. And I agree with this product. So enjoy the product. Enjoy the commercial that I put together. And uh, think about it. This is a pretty cool thing. This is a pretty awesome thing to have in emergency situations and just recreational situations. Check it out. Hello, fellow adventurers. Are you tired of lugging around those big, heavy, and noisy generators on your camping trips? Well you're in luck. The Blue Eddy Generator is here to make your life easier and your camping experience more enjoyable. Let me tell you, these generators are game changers. They're ultra portable and lightweight, making them perfect for taking on the go. And don't be fooled by their small size. These little guys pack a powerful punch. You can power up your devices, lights, and even small appliances like blenders or coffee makers, all with ease. But here's the best part. The Blue Eddy generators are super quiet. That's right, no more noisy interruptions to your peaceful camping experience. You can power up your gadgets without disturbing the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. And the utility of these generators doesn't stop there. They're also great for emergency backup power during power outages or natural disasters. Keep your lights on and your devices charged no matter what life throws your way. So why settle for those clunky, noisy, and heavy generators when you can have a portable and powerful solution that makes your camping life easy? In our pinned comments, you will find a link to Blue Eddy. Check them out today. All right, I hope you enjoyed my little shameless little plug right there. But yeah, I love those things, man. I'm going to get me one of those one day. And damn, solar power, wind power, turbine power. Combine it all. All the energy you need, right? Damn. So Coinbase, utilizing Ethereum based altcoin in new layer two scaling platform. Can you guys think of what it could be for an Oracle? You guessed right. It's Chainlink. So top US crypto exchange Coinbase is now using price feeds from decentralized Oracle network Chainlink Link for its new Ethereum layer two project called Base. Base is Coinbase's Layer 2 network powered by blockchain scaling solution Optimism, OP, and its testnet was launched late last month. Base is designed to be compatible with Ethereum, Ethereum Layer 2s like Optimism, and other alternative Layer 1s like Solana. Solana's garbage, people. According to Chainlink, its price feeds are now live on the Base testnet. Base is also participating in the Chainlink scale program, which is, which is designed to provide Chainlink data and services available to developers at a cheaper cost. So there you go. I'll leave links in the description so you guys can read more about this. It's better that you guys read about it and learn it yourselves and get it in your head instead of just listening to it and then goes in one ear and out the other, right? Always do your research. But there you go. Oracle, Chainlink, Base, Coinbase. If they're still around later. I don't know. Because like I said, Reggie Milton has a patent for these DeFi things and uh, he's, he's pushing the issue here on Coinbase. And if they go down, he pretty much owns the show. If if he actually has a case against them, goes to trial and all that, and Reggie Middleton wins because he has a patent on DeFi, holy crap, this dude owns the blockchain, man. He owns the decentralized world. Crazy. So anyway, this is the crypto realm. Play hard, trade smart, be independent, and decentralized. Thanks, everybody.